Whew. Okay, so I'm back with another video and this time it's gonna be a little bit different than what I usually than what I usually film. My cat's trying to get inside. Just a second. As I was saying in this video, I'm going to talk about the new iPad mini 6. I'm really excited about having it. I did used to have the iPad mini 5, which came out like forever ago, and I was excited to upgrade to the new iPad mini, but the screen is definitely much, much bigger than the old one. It also supports the second generation Apple pencils so that you can just keep it attached to the iPad, and not only that, but also charge it. For those of you who know about Apple, Apple's iPad line knows about the Apple Pencil. So that's one cool feature that I like about the iPad mini as well. And in this video, I'm not just gonna bubble about me having the iPad or anything like that. I'm just gonna talk about why an iPad is useful for me as a uh, mother-to-be. I do have my list of things that I wanna say in here on my iPad mini. I actually filmed this video unboxing the iPad. Uh, unfortunately, with my camera, I forgot to turn on the mic and it didn't record any of my voice. So I'm gonna be using some footage from that video just so that you can have the pleasure of seeing me unbox uh, the iPad. Other than that, this is gonna be the video. So let's jump into it now for real. So the first thing that I use this iPad for is notes. And I usually actually use the app called GoodNotes. So GoodNotes 5, and it's an amazing app for note taking. You can also edit PDF files so you can write on them. If you have to fill out uh, some paperwork, you can still use the app and fill it out and send it out. And it's just such an amazing app. This is not sponsored by anybody other than me just having the time to make the video so <laughs> i'm just giving you my honest opinion on what i like about using ipads in general and now what i'm going to like about this one even more is that i can literally take it everywhere because it actually fits in my smallest bags so the second thing that i love actually it would be my top first thing that i love using this for it's going to be planning. So I do actually make digital planners that uh, you can use with any of your devices, whether it's Apple or Android or whatever. And I actually use them with the GoodNotes app. In my case, there's other apps out there that you can use. There's a uh, notability, but the one that I like to use is GoodNotes because I feel like it's really easy to use and has everything that I need basically. So I like to plan on my iPad. I do my weekly and daily planning, monthly planning. I even do my budgeting for the month, for each month. I have a cleaning schedule on my on my digital planner. I like to plan my, my meals, my groceries for the week. And one thing that I'm really excited to start using this, um, even more now that I'm gonna become a mom and I'm gonna have a child, is being able to scan documents. I know you can already do, do this with your iPhone and other phones, I guess, uh, so. I mean, it doesn't really change a lot about having the iPad mini, but I am excited to be able to use the iPad mini for that and keep my scanned documents again on good notes so I can divide, it in, divide them into folders. I can annotate them, write anything on them if I want to. And for like baby doctors, uh, files, insurance, and, in, and other things, you know, I can keep the documents here on my iPad. All right, so another thing that I'm going to be using the iPad mini for, of course, it's some of the basic stuff. So social media, social media planning, emails, reading. It's gonna be really nice, for example, reading on the go if you're on a plane or anything like that and you just wanna keep yourself entertained. This is gonna be 
really quite a tool to do that. Also, one thing that I'm going to be doing on my iPad mini, especially when I'm on the go, make content for social media or edit my videos on this iPad. And I use the app LumaFusion for that. Both GoodNotes and LumaFusion are paid apps. So it's a one-time payment and you're done. It's not a like a subscription like many apps now. I'm also going to be using the iPad mini for photo editing. As I said, also video editing. And then like I like to draw and make collages and like have have like an artsy side to to my personality and this really complements it very well since i can use another app that i love absolutely love it's the procreate app which is like a drawing app many people say it's it's kind of like a photoshop version for ipad for drawing and like making collages and all of that it's amazing i also like to use the app canva procreate it's also a paid app it's a one-time payment i think it's 10 bucks basically the main point that i'm going to be using the ipad mini for uh the ipad mini 6 for <laughs> And basically it's really going to help with going paperless and I'm all about uh, decluttering and mm, trying to make my life less complicated, I guess. But um, I do find that uh, having it all in one device, it, it obviously makes your life easier. So it's only a win-win situation for me at the end of the day. Also, another thing that I really like about uh, the whole Apple ecosystem is that with iCloud, I can have everything syn synchronized. So for example, as I was mentioning, the GoodNotes app, it's also iCloud uh, connected, I guess you could say. Anything that I do on the GoodNotes app here on my iPad, it's on my iPhone. I also have it on my MacBook. It's just amazing because it w if I, for some reason, don't have my iPad mini with me, I know I'm gonna be able to check it out on my iPhone because it connects right away and that's gonna be really like a, a plus for me so going back to what i was saying about digital planning i do sell digital planners on my etsy shop i have a ton of different options i have dated planners and dated planners so that you can use them um whichever year that you choose to start using it they're really user friendly so smartyplans.shop for my instagram here it is I'll leave the links down below so that you can check it out for my Etsy shop, my YouTube channel, and my Instagram for all of these digital planning supplies that I have for all of you. So even though this video was a little different than what I usually make, I just thought it would be useful to talk about this since it is kind of mom related and I do find that many people in general, and in this case, mothers out there are could find this pretty useful to have. It's not a commodity it's more of like a luxury keeping that in mind you'd have to think of whether or not you can afford it and whether or not you would actually make it worth your while i know i am going to i've already i've only had this for two days and it hasn't really left my hand <laughs> So I think that's gonna be pretty useful. I did purchase this with my own money. I actually used the method, the payment method of like paying in four times on Amazon, at least here in Spain, that's an option. So I'm gonna be paying this throughout the next four months so that the first payment was not too shocking for my bank account and I can actually divide the price up into four payments. So other than that, uh, I think I'm done explaining what I'm going to be using this iPad for. If you guys would like me to make some other videos of how I use my iPad, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can make one once I've used it for maybe a, a month or two so that I can give an honest review on whether or not I find it useful for my day-to-day -day life. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more about my use of the iPad mini 6. 